Kyrie and Luca are playing. They're playing different right now. They are. They're they're in sync. Boston. Something's been off with Boston, but the East was not strong enough to take advantage. Like everyone wanted to hype up the Knicks, and it's New York, it's the Knicks, and all that stuff. And Indiana got through. If Indiana skill talent wise, if Indiana was in the upper half talent wise of the NBA, they would have beat Boston. They wouldn't have lost in five. They'd have beat Boston. They're going up against a highly skilled Mav team. Highly and skilled. Mav- yes, Kyrie. Recency Kyrie and biases. Recency biases. Kyrie and Luca, and Kyrie's proven it on a big stage before, bud. I don't yeah, want to remind. I'm, a we're long not trying, I'm, not, I'm not right, but I'm not trying. Look, and I know I'm not trying to take you down that road again. Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up. It's good. Kyrie Irving from downtown. <laughs> but Boston has folded. They folded last year in the playoffs. Two years ago in in the NBA Finals, what happened? They folded like origami. They they have yeah. Folded. Who did they play? Right, I hear you. Who I know. Oh well, wait, wait. If I don't name the source for the the old history, I'm not gonna go down that road. But I'm just putting. Up. It's when they come up against a couple of a couple of skilled players, and the upper echelon of the talent. They, I don't want to say get exposed, but I mean. Kind of, it kind of is an exposure. Well, you said they in sync, and the only in sync that they know is bye bye, because they about to get beat by Boston. And if Boston does not win the championship this year, they need to get rid of the front office, the back office. They need to split up the team. It ain't really the team; it's more the head office. So if they don't get it done this year with the easiest path there, then they need to get rid of everything there. I think the path, unless something crazy happens in free agency, I just don't see the East being all that difficult even next year. And I mean, awesome. and I just, I have a, I have a real, I have a real funny feeling that doubt Dal- that Dallas is gonna is Dallas is gonna pull this off. And give me Dal- give me Dallas in six. Well, Boston is tried and true. They didn't mm-hmm. bump their head enough times. And when they were going up against the Warriors, I was saying they don't have enough experience. And those mm-hmm. losses were going to be big experiences for those. So there's no way that I can see that Kyrie and Luka can come in and beat this team playing the way that they are. I don't think they can place it. I don't think they have, like, a, a over-exaggerated sense of who they are. I think they know what they need to do, and I think they're going to da- get it done, not because of Tatum, but because of Brown, what can Brown do for you? Better bring him a championship. They they better figure out something because uh, uh, they messed around a lot with Indiana. You better not mess around with Dallas. Dallas has already shown this. They just showed Minnesota. Minnesota messed around, and they got thumped. Minnesota was overachieving, bro. Right, but what I'm saying is, is that Minnesota – like Boston played a lot. Go back and watch the East. Boston wasn't overwhelming. If in, I'm telling you, if Indiana had one player, one player that's top thirty, top forty in the league, they be, they beat Boston. Like they they series close, even though it was in five. They they a coaching mistake cost them game one. T.J. McConnell, who's from here. And I know the McConnells. TJ McConnell was a star for that for that series. I I'm telling you, when it happens, when Dallas wins in six, you you're gonna come on here and you're gonna look at me and be like, damn. And I'm gonna look at you and I'm gonna be like, Oh, I was saying damn too when I cashed that damn ticket in. Because nah. I may have got I may have got Dallas at a healthy little number at, at my local uh, Bet Rivers down here. Luca Doncic. So 
You could you could go Luka Doncic, mm-hmm. uh, Joker, Maury Povich. It don't matter. I got Boston in six at the most. I, I want to say five, but I'm gonna say six. I do think that the weak layoff is advantageous to Boston. I will get. I will give a slight advantage to Boston having this week, having this over a week off before the finals start next Thursday. I think that's a heavy advantage to Boston. Luka Doncic, Nikola Jokic, Maury Povich, Boston in six. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I got. And but I got me now. Ball- all the boxes, all the boxes check. Boston. I got Boston in seven. All, all the boxes check. Boston, and I know people like to root for the underdog, like they did, like they did Kendrick in this weak rap beef that he won somehow. But I got Boston. Hear me now. Believe me when it happens. I got Boston winning it in seven. It's going to be – I feel like Kyrie going to give him a run because he, he feel like he owns something. But Boston just got too many pieces for Dallas. Although Dallas is a good team. No, I'm not taking nothing away from them. But Boston is long, and they, 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 they just got – I think they got a little too much for just Luka and Kyrie. The Don is good. Kyrie is great. But Boston got cut. They just got one too many pieces for him, I think. But they're going to take him to the wire. It's going to go seven. And if it goes seven, it's going to be because of the great coaching of town business, Jason Kidd, because he got them playing at a level that I didn't think that they were going to be able to get to, even with just adding one piece for Kyrie. Because Luca is good, but what we know about championship basketball, even when you had Steph and Clay in their prime, they was running them off that three point line, and that's the yeah. reason why Kyrie and them was able to even get that championship that you took us down memory lane so painfully to remind me to Kyrie to get his ring. But um, they were running Steph and Clay off the three point line, and I think that if Boston, they coach better be as smart as they say he is, because then I'm gonna look at the Udoka trade. And I'm, or the the Udoka, whatever you want to call it, um, you know. So I don't care. There's no excuses. I don't care who come on and say what the reasons. I don't care. There is no reasons. They got to get it done this year, and it better not take seven games either. I mean, if it takes seven games and they still get it done, at the end of the day, they don't they don't ask you. They don't ask you how many games it took. They just say, did you or did you not? That's true. But what, how I'm looking at it, because you've got to remember, I'm always light years ahead that, sure, you could win the championship. But what that's going to show me is what you were saying about them this year is going to ring true next year because they won't be able to repeat. They won't be able to repeat because they're, they're a team that's – you're looking at the team that's already peaked or this is their peak right here. And if they can't get it done, and if they do get it done here in seven games, they peaked out right here. You might as well start doing the smart thing like they did when they got rid of Smart. Not because he wasn't a good player, because they needed a couple of little pieces to add so that way they can kind of make another uh, championship run. So if this is their peak and they win in seven games, they need to get rid of one of them two guys. And, and, and But I know this is the only – and I know it don't make sense because after you win a championship, you want to run it back. But just know that one of them two guys are going to be gone after that next season. Well, I don't think this is at their peak right now. They're playing good, but they're missing the piece that they had. Porzingis didn't really play this play season, and that's they brought him in. So he'll play a lot more next season. And then Tatum will get his new contract. And White not going to go nowhere. So – I think they'll peak next year when every if everybody playing they sort of like sort of like the Lakers. Anthony Davis can't never stay healthy. He finally stayed healthy, and then didn't nobody else want to play. So we'll see next year. Porzingis can play if it goes seven. It's because Porzingis didn't play. He coming back off an of injury, so 
they really don't want to mess with that chemistry that Horford got going on with him right now. Even though he he playing good, he looking kind of he looking like he getting to his age. But and we've been saying that for the last five seasons. <laughs> and he's and he still dunking, doing what he's doing. He was dunking on food still. Like and 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 come on now, the best ability is what availability. Availability. You're the main, you're the main one that say we can't say his name until unless he has availability. So I'm not going on what if Porzingis and I love me some Porzingis, but if they had Porzingis, then this really would be a cakewalk. It, it'll be right. It'll be, it'll be Boston in five. Absolutely. That's what I think. But as far as them peaking, I say next year that the East is going to look different because Milwaukee going to do something. They got to do something. It's going to be some problems. Mm. And, and Indiana going to get better. That step that you were talking about they didn't have this year, they'll have it next year, just like Minnesota will have a step as well. Denver is going to come back pretty pissed off too. Um, oh, they already peaked out. Oh, they no. Nah. Jokic. They shot, Jokic. They shot their wide. Jokic did not. Jokic did not like going down like that to uh, Minnesota. And that's one dude I just wouldn't piss off just because of the mob mentality that dude has. But, yeah, the the offseason for the NBA is going to be very intriguing, especially with, like, Milwaukee and uh, Miami and a couple of teams in the East. And the Knicks, like everyone's gonna hype up the Knicks, um, you know. But it'll, it'll, you're right. It'll be interesting. I just, but I, I, I gotta see it on because everybody would hype up the Sixers all the time, and they didn't even make a damn finals. Right, and they you know, peaked, in all this time a trust in the process. Ago. But yeah, trust the process. Yeah, they, they peaked I mean, a they, they, years they, ago. they went. Yeah, they flushed. They flushed their chances when Ka- when Kawhi hit that shot in Toronto. Sorry. I think they peaked out when the B won the champ when won his MVP. They, they peaked out. And that's what I'm seeing with Boston. They peaking out right now. This is it. Next year might be the mm. the crest, but they on their way down after that. If they go in seven. Now if they win in six and five, then they got action. <laughs> 